one evening in about ten years' time, when you're bored stiff with all the television channels coming to you via all the satellites from all over the world in all the languages, perhaps one answer to your boredom problem will be this. It's part of an electronic video recording system that you plug into the back of your television set where the aerial goes and it transfers film on this cassette onto your television screen. The system has a fast forward wind and a fast rewind. You can also stop the film like that and even by hand Put the film through slowly, picture by picture. So that in a classroom, for example, you could use this system to produce either a film on screen or a single picture. Now, since the uh, film can be fed through to several television sets at once, that means you can run several classes at once. And you don't have to darken the classroom. Inside the cassette itself, in here, there's some very unusual film. It's got about three times the amount of information you'd get on ordinary film. And that's because each film is in fact two films. There's one on this side and one on this side. And each film has its own soundtrack. Furthermore, each little picture is so small that you can get all that many more in. The picture gets to the television screen like this. A light sensitive cell scans each tiny picture many times and turns the images on the picture into a series of electronic signals. They go along the line and into the back of the television set and down onto the tube. The whole system is cheap and relatively easy to maintain. There's one thing, you can't put your own home movies on it. These uh, cassettes are produced uh, several thousands at a time on a production line much the same way that a long playing record is produced. And oddly enough, the man who invented this system also pioneered the LP. The makers of this system hope that over the next 10 years it's going to do for television what the record did for radio, to let you enjoy anything you want when you want it.